Okay, hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Vlogmas day 22. We've reached that like point where it just feels like everything is going so fast. Um, it's all good though. It's all good. We're just going to embrace it. We're going to enjoy it. Life is great. It's Christmas time. There are no problems. As Eckhart Tolle says, there are no problems, only situations. Um, so we've got a bit of a situation today. It's nothing bad. It's just a bit stressful. Um, just a bit chaotic. So I'm going over to the house for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I'm spending those nights and all of that stuff. Today and tomorrow is just a lot of things. I've started doing laundry. That's now got to be paused because I'm about to leave the apartment. But like, I need to do laundry. There's a lot of cleaning I need to do. Just, you know, I don't want to come back to a messy apartment after Christmas. I need to do all of the wrapping still. But my aunt has more stuff. She's already given us two boxes of stuff, but she's got more stuff, more gifts, and baking, um, baked items that she needs to get delivered over to mom and dad's house for Christmas. I have two gifts to bring her. I'm going to take her her gifts and pick up all the stuff that she's got that she needs me to take to the house. I'm going to go to the house, drop all that stuff off, and then come back here and resume laundry and cleaning and chores. Mom and I were going to go to Whole Foods tomorrow. She's now realized that she can get everything she needs online. Hopefully everything gets delivered. Otherwise, I will probably end up making a last minute Whole Foods trip. So yeah, it's just, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm mentally mapping out the next few days and it'll be fine. It'll all be good. It's good. The days are going to be busy and then the nights will be nice and relaxing. So I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to open up day 22, um, get the advent calendar done and then get on the road. So ooh, we've got Brio Geo Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Awesome. I think I've used this before. I think I might have gotten this in a... Um, Sephora play box once ages ago and I do remember liking it if it's the same product so um, I do generally like Brio Geo as a brand so cool yay okay I'm gonna go get everything ready um, and get my water and get on the road I will see you guys in a little bit Today has not gone quite according to plan. It is now quarter to four and I've only just gotten home. It's all fine. <laughs> Again, just trying to take deep breaths and just embrace the chaos and it's fine. The last I spoke to you guys, I was about to leave to go take my gifts to my aunt and pick up gifts and some cookies from her and run those over to the house. All in all, that should have taken me a little over an hour and I left at about 12.30 so I should have been home by 2. Instead, I've gotten home at about 4.30. <laughs> so as I was going over to my aunt's, my mom was trying to do a Whole Foods order for some last minute things. She could, there were no delivery spots available. No delivery options available, no store pickup options available. So I ended up running to Whole Foods. The Whole Foods wasn't too bad. There wasn't a line once I got finished. It was just a bit of a madhouse going through the store and trying to find everything. And so yeah, it was a bit, I was a bit of a headless chicken, I won't lie. I was trying to stay calm and trying to just breathe through the stress, but yeah. Errands during Christmas week is not my favorite thing to do. Stores are just a lot busier. I would have rather gone today though than tomorrow because I know it's gonna be worse tomorrow. I just feel like I'm... <laughs> 
to, it means I won't do any wrapping today, but now I don't think either of us needs to run any errands tomorrow. So I think tomorrow can just be a completely stay at home, finish the laundry, finish the cleaning, finish the wrapping and getting everything ready. So yeah, it's four o'clock. I'm feeling exhausted and very frazzled and trying not to let it get to me. It's just, it was a lot of driving. I was probably in the car for about between driving to my aunt's house, driving to Whole Foods, and driving to my parents and back, I've probably spent at least an hour and a half in my car today. And traffic was not the worst it could have been, but it, it was not ideal. As soon as I pulled into my parking spot here at my apartment, I just breathed a huge sigh of relief because it's like, I'm home, I'm safe, it's okay. <laughs> but I have some goodies. I've got some goodies that have stacked up. Um, some of these were at my parents' house, um, and so I picked them up, and then one of them is a gift. Um, and she said that I could open it on camera. So we will save the, there's two things. This green box is also a bit of a gift, a gift from me to me. I'll explain that in a second. So I'll open the gifts next. Uh, but I'm going to start with the two other boxes because one of these is a box of my books. I just, there is something about seeing multiples of your books and holding them in your hands. Like this is just, I got five copies. So one is for me and then four are for other things. Aren't they so pretty? Just, oh, it just makes me so happy. Then the other package, this is also a book. I thought this might be good for over um, winter break as well, because it's kind of set around New Year's, and it's this time, and it's this time next year by Sophie Cousins. So it just sounded really interesting. It was a Beth's Book Club pick for December, I think. Um, and I didn't get to read it with the book club, but um, it did sound good, like something I would want to read. So yeah, thought that looked good. Um, thought I'd give that a bit of a read over the break between Christmas and New Year's. Now for the gifts. So um, I'm going to open my friend's gift first. It's from the hometown Haven, which is in Temecula, California. It's a little box. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. This is amazing. Like, this is seriously amazing. So, it's a necklace and it's rose gold. Rose, which is perfect, especially when you guys see what's in the other box. So it's a rose gold necklace that's London skyline. So we've got the Tower Bridge, Big Ben, the Gherkin is on the other end, the London Eye. But then the best part is on the other side, it's engraved with my initials. I'm honestly speechless. That is that is seriously the most awesome thing. I mean, I don't even know if you can see on, on the one side the detail on the London Eye. Like, it's got like stuff etched into it. Like, it's not just a solid bar. I'm, I'm just, wow. I do not want to cry. I need to text her. But that is just the most incredible gift. I, I, I can't stop staring at it. Okay, I'm gonna stop staring at it, but I just, I'm gonna slip it back into the little cardboard. I need to take a picture of that. But that is just, I could, act, I could actually start crying. If I really think about it, I really will cry. That is just, it's too much. That is just the most thoughtful gift. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna put that to the side. 
and not cry. But I'm feeling very emotional today, so I will probably cry when I hang up. I'm already starting to cry. What am, what am I talking about? Okay, moving on. Thank you, Janelle. That is, that's just too much. Okay, so the next thing, also London related, also rose gold related, as you will see. So I didn't just go completely crazy and buy myself something extravagant. This is actually using some gift cards that I had, or a gift card that I had. And so long story short, I think I mentioned this a couple times in previous vlogs. My mom gave me a $100 gift voucher for Ted Baker last Christmas, and I always save gift cards that I get at Christmas time. I will hoard gift cards. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, I'm sure, Ted Baker here in Scottsdale closed. So I no longer have a Ted Baker location, a Ted Baker boutique um, here in town. And so I didn't know what to do because it's only for use in store. It's not, there's no code to use it online. I thought there's probably gonna be some kind of fine print that I'm not aware of and they're gonna tell me, so sorry, Charlie, you know, nothing you can do. And so I really wasn't holding my breath, but I emailed customer service just, just so I could tell my mom that I at least tried because <laughs> I didn't want to waste her money. First I emailed and said I could use it at any other Ted Baker location and I'm like, uh, we're not like London where there's like five million Ted Bakers in town. You know, the one store we had is the one that closed. And so they said, okay, well we can arrange for you to be able to redeem it online but there was this whole kind of complicated process of I had to mail them the voucher and the receipt to their LA headquarters and then send them proof that I'd purchased it or sent it and then go online make an order and send the girl that I was talking to the customer service agent the order number once I placed the order and then at that point she could go in and issue a refund for the amount of the gift voucher. So I had to kind of spend the money up front and then be reimbursed. Um, all of that has happened. It took seven, it took less than 10 days. It was really, the, the thing that took the longest was that she's in, I'm assuming she was in London because um, I'd get emails, they'd be timestamped like 1 a.m. Arizona time. So it'd be like 24 hours in between each of our replies. So it took a little while to kind of get it sorted out but that is what is in this box so I ordered three pieces of jewelry I looked online to see and I was looking at a bunch of different things because I really wasn't sure what I wanted but at the end of the day I kind of just decided jewelry because I don't really need another handbag I'm not going out anywhere, so I'm not using the handbags that I have. Same thing with I didn't want to get a pair of shoes, I didn't want to risk anything that might not fit. I decided to stick to jewelry. Oh, they're so pretty! Okay, so they've all come in little um, boxes. I'm tempted to like wrap them up again and open them on Christmas Day, but I'm not gonna do that. So they've each come, this is so brilliant. Like if you were ordering this as a gift, they each come with a little, one of these types of boxes. So they each come with a little flat pack box and a little velvet pouch with the pink ribbon. Really cute if you were giving these as a gift, but they're for me. Um, so the first piece I got, this actually feels pretty substantial, this locket, which I love that like the, this bit here is a little heart, and then it's got, the locket itself is a bunch of little hearts, and then it looks like there's the TB there, yep, um, and then it's the same kind of print on the back side, and then it's just a little locket, so you can put whatever you want inside. But I just thought that was really cute. Don't know what I'll put inside, but I will find something. A little wish on a piece of paper or something. And then the end of the clasp um, just has Ted Baker just has Ted Baker stamped on it and then a little crystal in the end. So it's one of the things I love about Ted Baker jewelry is just the detail. So I'm not gonna clasp it on me, but on the longest one, it looks like it would sit about there. So a good length 
for me. So I'm not going to put that back in the plastic. I'm going to stick that in the little velvet pouch to keep it safe in there. So that's piece number one. And then piece number two. These are just, these should have been, oh, these are okay. So piece number two also comes box and bag. And then it's earrings, little bow stud earrings set in rose gold and with little crystals. And I love that it's like a rectangular baguette crystal down the middle, the center of the bow, and the little round crystals in the others. So I just thought, I saw those online and just thought they were super cute. So I will probably wear those over Christmas and they would go really cute with my new London Skyline necklace. See, my friends know me so well. London, rose gold, good to go. So yeah, I just thought those would be really cute and dainty. I have a pair of Ted Baker button earrings in rose gold and pink that I really love. So when I saw the bows, because I feel like the bows are kind of iconic to the brand. So I really wanted the bow earrings. I just thought those would be super cute. And then to go along with those earrings, I got, so also bag and box, loving that. And then you've got the matching necklace, which also has the kind of baguette rectangular crystal in the middle and then the round crystals in the bow. I just thought whether I wore it with the earrings at the same time or wear it separately with other rose gold earrings, because um, this would go really well with a pair of Swarovski earrings that I have, I just thought it would be super cute. So got myself some new jewelry. So again, I had a gift card. I only paid for about $50 of all of these. Partially a gift from me to me and also partially a gift from my mom to me. Um, finally getting to spend her generous gift from last year. I don't know, it's made me reluctant to like hoard gift cards quite so much, at least from, you know, smaller stores like that. If I had even had a thought that it could close, I would have gone and spent that card in January. Everything was on sale over Black Friday, so got really lucky. I am just still over the moon about this necklace. I need to text her as soon as I hang up, or hang up, as soon as I hang up this vlog, as soon as I stop vlogging. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. I need to take a shower after being out at Whole Foods. I need to change and take a shower, but it's 10 after four. I really wanna go for a walk. I just feel like I need a walk to kind of center myself but my camera's about to shut off, so I'm gonna go and just go for my walk, and then, yeah, I'll check with you guys later. <laughs> Okay, 
Uh, it's now just about six o'clock. I had a gorgeous walk. It was so nice. It was just what I needed. Right now I've got some pasta cooking on the stove and I'm gonna put um, a film on. I don't know which film. Tonight I think it might be Bridget Jones. While I eat dinner and edit the vlog and then I'm gonna do some more knitting. I am frantically knitting. I don't think I'm gonna get this one done in time to be a Christmas gift, but I've got the brim done and I'm three lines, three rows into the pattern repeat. So we'll see how far I get today and tomorrow, and then I might try to quickly finish it up. This hat builds really fast. It's the same pattern as the ivory one, and I'm doing this in 20 less stitches, so it's 80 stitches instead of 100. So I think that will make the fit a little bit more of a beanie rather than be so slouchy. Just practicing, just trying to figure out the right way to make this particular pattern. Um, Christmas question, I guess kind of related to today. So it's not so much a Christmas question, but I guess kind of. I asked you about your self-care tips and some of those were really helpful. But so it's, this is kind of related to self-care, but also kind of a little bit different. When the stress of the holidays starts to get to be too much. What do you do to kind of recenter yourself? So for me, my walk combined with a nice hot shower when I got back, I just felt like I walked all the stress away and then rinsed it off with my shower and I feel loads better now. So what do you do that like, can be done in like an hour or less to just kind of put yourself back into a better mood? I'd really like to know um, what your kind of instant or nearly instant stress fixers are. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow in the second to last Vlogmas video. Tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 23. So give this one a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, all that fun stuff. Um, let's chat in the comments and yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow in Day 23. Thanks for watching this one. Bye bye. And I will show you the rest of the evening, but like I'm just signing off for now. Okay, you probably already knew that. Bye. <laughs>